Hi, my name is Basti, and welcome to Basti Plays Minecraft, episode 9. Nine episodes, and look at this. I can't get over how nice this is. I love this little path here. It's just so cozy. Unfortunately, the raid farm is out there. I think I've come to a decision that I will move it. I don't think I'll move it anytime soon, but I will move it. Will I tell you about the move? Probably not. You'll just notice one day that the raid farm is not there anymore. Yep, I'll just move it. Okay, Basti, we're at episode 9. What are we doing today? Well, I'm glad you asked, because I've got some fun plans, and they're all related to building. Oh, but Basti, what are we building today? Well, we are going to start preparing for some, let's call it, bigger projects. Some might go as far as to call them mega. mega. <laughs> Let me tell you what, I've been working, grinding, and cooking something up in a creative test world. And it's looking pretty darn good. But to accommodate this build that I would want to be building someday in the future, I can't say when because I'm not entirely done with the design yet, but it will be rather soon, and it will be rather big. But in the meanwhile, I want to get started on making this whole place a city. And one of the first things I want to do is to get a bridge from over there to over here. Because why not? It'll be fun. You know what? That sounds to me like a really fun episode, and I suggest you watch it. Now, let's get going, shall we? Alright, so here's the game plan. I want the bridge to go from back here. I'm gonna remove this temporary bridge thingy I built a long time ago. And I will start placing down a bridge at the height where it's actually supposed to be. And the bridge is supposed to be exactly this high. So, let's get to it. Whoa, oh don't look now, cause here comes trouble. You see, there's a slight difference between the height of the bridge and the height of this landscape, so... Yeah, you know what time it is. We're gonna need to do some terraforming. And for this terraforming project, we will need to... Step one, remove these trees. There we go, the trees are now gone. And next up, we are gonna have to remove these houses. And if I can do this correctly, this will be very satisfying to watch. Let's try this. Three, two, one, go. And there we go, the houses are now both gone. Hopefully that looked really cool, I don't know, because I haven't edited it yet. But I will do it now and I'll come back with you with how cool it looked. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, that looked pretty cool. Now, let's move on with the project. Alright, what we need to do now is extend this bridge road so we know how high the landscape needs to be. So, now we know the height of the landscape, all we have to do now is start landscaping. All right, let's do this thing. All right, with the landscaping done, it's time to start working on the bridge road. And the bridge road? Well, it'll be here. That's what this grass is marking out. So what we need to do now is gather the materials we need and just start building it. Let me go find some stuff. All right, so first thing we do is we mark out where the beginning of the bridge is so that we don't miss like sideways and then we start replacing the bridge like this all right the bridge is done and look at it well i guess the house is gone as well but it needed to go anyway so i'm not too bummed about it well there is one thing though we're gonna have to do a bit more terraforming but that's fine, I'll do it right now. And would you look at that? 
It's like nothing ever happened. In fact, I think it actually might look a little bit better than it did before it blew up. So with that little mishap taken care of, I think it's now time to continue building this bridge. Next step, I would like to get the support beams down from this bridge so I know where they're supposed to be. And the easiest way for me to do that is by marking out the center of the bridge, which is right there, and then splitting that in half again, getting this one and this one. And that is where I want the bridge supports to be. Congratulations, Basti. Thank you, thank you. I can do grade two math. Now let's continue on with the build. Let's build these bridge supports. For the bridge supports, I'll just do the same as I have done with this one, except I will do it from the bottom, like this. Center. Good. And we just go up. Does that look good? Amazing. Wow. Let's do the other one. Hole. One, uh, four, uh, six, ten, eighteen. Nice. No, not nice. Now nice. Whoa, amazing. That looks so cool. So the bridge supports are now done. I think let's widen out the bridge and then we start thinking about the underside again. All right, let's just play some work music and start going. Now I think this will be good. is now a lot wider. What I would want to do now is figure out these kind of arches because I know I want them. I just don't know where I want them. It might be simple, but I think this is the answer. From what I've been trying out, well, it. mastered Minecraft. So from what I've been trying out, this is the answer. It's simple, but it'll have to do. I think it will look good once I've added a bit more detail to it. Well, then let's do this all over the place. Okay, now that those are placed, we can move on to the next step. And the next step is to start to decorate these guys a little bit. And the way we're gonna decorate these are, we bring one, two, and one more. Bup. Whoops, frick. Oh! Um. <laughs> it's now a brand new day and we continue on. After we cut this off, we do a little bit of slabbage like this. And then we do on the other side, same thing. Make it like that. And on this one, we'll do a one, two, three. And then we repeat the process on the other side. And voila, that looks pretty good, no? I like it. The next step is to make this bridge look a little bit more substantial than it does. And I'm gonna do that by placing slabs all over the underside. And I'm not gonna show myself doing it because gosh dang it, is it a tedious process and it's not fun to look at. I'll show you once it's done. Be right back. And the slabs are in place and not much of a difference, huh? But it doesn't matter because it feels a bit thicker. I can feel that this bridge has some substance. Now, let's continue on top of it. And on the top of this bridge, I would like to place some of these, like that. And then we got this. There we go. We've got some of those out there. And these little buggers are important because they are going to be the bridge's railing. And I like to build the railing with stairs and slabs. And I'll show you how I do it, like this. I place a stair upside down against one of these and then slab in between. And I've already done it on both sides. It looks cool. Look at it. Well, it looks a bit mushy from here. Well, that's cool. Anyways, that is the that is that part of the bridge. I shall do the last part. And that is just to put some things. I will decorate it. That's what I mean. That's what I'm saying. Good stuff. And it has done been decorated. Looks pretty. <laughs> Very cool. 
it's actually pretty. Yep, I like it. Now that the bridge is done, I would like to direct my attention to the fact that there is no real way to get down here. And I will fix that. I will also spice up the area a bit, make it a bit more cozy. So let me get on that and uh, enjoy. And there you have it. What have we managed to get done? Well, we've built a bridge, which I think look pretty darn cool. We've built a bit of a road here. that Could lead to bigger, better projects in the future. We've built a staircase with a little area here. I don't know what to call this area, but I think it's really cozy. And the staircase goes down and we have transformed this area a little bit. Took away two of them and redesigned this one and I think it looks nice. The bell's still here. Down here, I haven't done much with the terrain as much as I just removed the water. I removed the two houses and built a little cute area for a little park bench. We can sit and watch the flowers. And I built a little bridge. Folks, you are getting a fantastic deal. Two bridges, one episode. It's a two for one. Tell me what else channel you get that, huh? Anyways, that is what we've managed to get done so far. And so, welcome back to our mountain. To our little village, city, town thingy we got going on here. And I want to show you something. I want you to have a look at this. Look here. There's an interior. I mean, it's not the best interior I've ever made, but, you know, it's not the best house I've ever made either, so it's, it works out. And if we take a look in here, this place has an interior too, and it's way lovelier. But then again, it's a way prettier house as well, so I think it only makes sense. I think this is my new house, and we got a wardrobe we can hide in, in case the outside world gets just a little too much. That is what I wanted to show you in here. Now, let's look at some more stuff outside. There has been some strange occurrences in this world and in this playthrough of Minecraft. And no, I'm not talking about the explodificating ones. I'm talking animal related ones. You see, a couple of weeks ago, there was this guy, Ocean Goat. And to be fair, I, I still don't know what his deal is. He seems to be fine out there though, and he's still out there. Just so we all, we're all clear on that. He's still out there. And then, later on, in an intro of mine, I spotted this guy. What's he doing there? How you doing? 
Yeah, it's just a cat there. How'd he get there? No clue. But he's there. And he's meowing up a storm. And no, the strangeness doesn't end there. But just while filming this episode, I found something quite interesting. Look at that. How long has he been there? I have to look through old footage and old videos to see when he arrived there. There's just a horse there now. What is up with the animals of this world? And why are they living in the ocean and on the cliffside? I would like some answers. Right now, there's only questions. And also, this guy is named Grebo now. Yep, his name is Grebo. It was another wonderful suggestion by Christopher Yee, and I stand by it. His name is Grebo. I thought it was brilliant and a fitting name. Will I do anything with him? Probably not. He'll just be there, I suppose. Might do something about Ocean Goat. Not sure, though. Never know if he's plotting anything. Nothing suspicious yet, but he's giving me some quite serious side-eye out there. Hmm. I got my eye on you, Ocean Goat. I know. Hey, psst. Psst. Rinse wind. You're a goat, right? Yeah. What can you tell me about... Ocean Goat? Huh. Nothing. Really? You don't keep in touch? <sighs> well, then I'm out of ideas. Looks like I'm gonna have to find answers myself. But that is for another time. Because I think I've just about run out of time for this episode. It's a bit of a shorter one, but I hope you like it anyways. I don't know, tell me if you like this kind of video. Where I'm talking a bit more about what I'm doing when I'm building. I got suggested that people wanted to see a bit more of the build process. So, here you are. <laughs> it's more of the build process. I don't know, I'm, I'm down to make more videos like this. I'm down to make less videos like this. I probably will make more videos like this anyways. <laughs> because you can't tell me what to do. Well, okay, you can. Doesn't mean I have to do it. As always, thank you so, so much for watching. And while filming this episode, the channel reached 200 subscribers, which is really cool. That's about 200 more than I thought I'd have at this point in time. I'm really glad you seem to enjoy the videos. So if you'll want some more, you can always subscribe to the channel and I will keep posting videos. And if you like the video, leave it a like and maybe a comment in the comment section down below. If you would like to join and have a chat about Minecraft, you're always free to join my Discord server. I will link it in the description below, and it will also be linked in my bio on the channel. I also have a Twitter in the bio. You, you can follow that if you want. I do not make any promises that I will post anything there, but, you know, in some universe, I might. And in another, I won't. So we'll see. But I have one. Anyways, that is enough for this episode. Thank you so, so much for watching. And I hope you all have a great evening, great day, whatever time you're watching. Have a great one of those. See ya and bye. How long has he been there?